All right, <clears throat> Camino Day 17 recap. Um, day 17, we went from Ponferrada in the in the morning to uh, Vega de Valcarce in the afternoon. This was our longest day of walking um, so far. And um, we left Pom Ferrada in the morning, right, man? About 7.50 ish. And we saw nobody for the longest time. It was kind time. of concerning because we also didn't see any arrows really yeah. for a long time. So yeah, so in, unless we have been in case we haven't mentioned it before, like so when you're walking along the Camino, you see all these markers, you see signs that say you're on the Camino and you see these yellow arrows everywhere that are either like spray painted on buildings or on the ground or just all over the place. These yellow arrows. That they're you not on want signs. to get lost. Yeah, so they do a pretty good job. But honestly, since we left Ponferrada, we really haven't seen as much of them. And so yesterday we weren't seeing any pilgrims, we weren't seeing any arrows, so we were getting a little bit worried. And the walk out of Ponferrada was really long. Well, it's just you're walking through the city, but it's like kind of shady. Yeah. <laughs> It was it's long, just, it was long and, and when urban. You're on the sidewalk and, and you have to like wait for the cars and yeah. it just takes extra time. And light industrial and a little bit smoggy. Not as bad as Leon was, but still it just It was pretty foggy. And it was foggy too. It was really it's been mm. really wet the past couple of days. We've gotten rained on a lot. So I would say yesterday we even got we were either walking through rain or sprinkling more than half of the day. Most of the day we were um getting wet and um one of the problems you deal with when that happens is um, you're wearing your raincoat, and I even have my pit zips down so I get more ventilation into my. I butt. don't have pit zips. So but I you, have to your sweat builds up on the inside from, you know, exertion and walking, whatever, and then you've got rain on the outside. So normally. You want to get off. Yeah, you can't get the, that water permeable barrier that allows just that water to escape, doesn't escape, so you end up getting pretty wet underneath. And it's been getting cold again. So when you stop, you're feeling pretty chilly until you get going and get a good warm up again. Even so this guy feels chilly. Yeah, I've been feeling chilly. So um anyway, so we walked um let's see uh, we walked to Cacavelos and we stopped and got some breakfast there. Uh, some ham and eggs, surprise and surprise. Um, and then we walked again and got to Via Franca del Bierzo. The second Via Franca. The second Via Franca of the There's Camino. Two. Yep. And um, yeah, we got a, a Coke Zero and a little container of very stale <laughs> Pringles. Remember <laughs> those, man? Yep. It's like Crunchy. sour cream and onion and staleness. I don't staleness. think that those had been changed out of mm -hmm. that, like, Pringles spot for yeah. a while. We were the suckers that took them. Americans. And then we walked. We made some really good time, but we, like we said, we walked our longest day yesterday, 24 and a half miles. Also, we're filming this the day after. We're filming this the day after, yeah. Um, we were pretty wiped out. We had we did 24 miles, people. 24 miles. We went to the market once we got there and got something to eat. I got a bag of pistachios, man, got some bread and butter and jam. We ate that and pretty much went right to bed. But um, yesterday was also an interesting day because we really didn't meet anybody new yesterday. Well, I guess the Brazilian couple and that other couple from Buffalo once we got to the at dinner. Day, but, but during the day, like, we... We hardly saw anybody. We really hardly saw anybody. Men was saying... And we did a lot of walking besides the the free... The it was like a post-apocalyptic. That's what men was saying. Yeah, because, like, Cause we saw, walking like... walking around the highway. Almost no cars, almost no people. And a lot of like the though they're like really old well i don't even know how old they are but these houses like people just leave them and like they have like trees growing out of them and stuff like that like yeah they've been abandoned for some so, time and there's a lot of graffiti too not that that's a bad thing i'm just saying like it just adds to the atmosphere yeah of post-apocalypticism i was feeling like walter mitty when he's like in the himalayas and 
his guides abandoned him and he's on his own. I was just feeling like we were just kind of on our own yesterday. It was because there's been so many people on the trail, on and the we Camino, to each other and we, we were. yeah, we're listening to our bucks. Listen so we're kind of in our. I was going to say fight. <laughs> no fight. We were just listening really to our bucks. Yet. <sighs> and then. Um, so, anyways, yeah, it was we, the worst albergue we've stayed in yet. It was pretty night. bad. It was just run down and. Yeah, and at night, um, this we were the there was us and there was this one couple downstairs. It was just it was like the least amount of people we've ever slept. Yeah, in room it was with. just. And I could not sleep because this lady and I feel bad because I think she was like sick or something. I don't think she was sick. I think she got she like an itch in her throat would not or something. Stop coughing and like I don't care. Like I'm like okay, you're like yeah, you're sick, but it was like every minute, and I'm like drink some water or something because for the entire night she. Was yeah, I woke up a couple times at night, um, and, and she was coughing both and then times. She would like cough so much, and then it would wake me up again, and I'd be like, "Oh." So the best part about that story actually is in the morning we're getting ready to go, and they were still kind of sleeping in, and Min was in the bathroom brushing her teeth or something, and she gets up to go to the bathroom, and she stops, and like stops right by me, and is like starts to talk, talking to me, and she's like, she's using kind of broken English, but she says, "Can." can you sleep with me tonight and i was like uh <laughs> like um <laughs> i knew that's not what she meant but I, I was so confused i had no idea what she meant and part of me is just kind of laughing you know and she's like can you sleep with me tonight <laughs> so she was like trying to say like was you know were you able to sleep and he should have said no because of my coffee and i said nah, so, i slept i actually did sleep fine so fine. I so anyways but not I told her not to worry about it, and and Kristen knows all about this. Kristen knows that I cannot sleep with her any night. So, um, but all is good. That's not what she meant, anyways. Just a funny experience. Um, yeah. And uh, other than that, our only other friend we did meet this Brazilian couple at dinner last night, and we saw them again today, and um, and another couple from Buffalo, and they were. And the host was really awkward, and it was just the dinner conversation was really awkward in general. Like, I, we were sitting in the corner, and I was just like, oh my gosh, it was so hard to watch that, like, to listen to what they were saying, because it's just like, you know, they are trying to say funny things, and it was just awkward. I like the talking about soccer stuff, when the lady from yeah. Buffalo saw, oh, my husband, and he, he loves like, soccer, no. and I know he's just dying over here to ask you about soccer since you guys are from Brazil. <laughs> from Go ahead, honey. Go ahead. Ask him about soccer. I know you want to. And, like, he's, like, all awkward. It made it even more and awkward because the like, husband's like, I love like, it uh... when you watch soccer because that means I get a two-hour long but well. Because, like, he... She like, said that? I didn't hear that. And so, like, the whole game, I guess, he rubs her legs and stuff. And I was like... Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was just so weird. I think she was a little too, had a little too much to drink. And the Albergue host, too. Yeah, I think she'd had to. And the Albergue host had the, like, the biggest glass of wine. And she kept refilling it. And I she had, had just stared ever at seen. Like, it was like, yeah. But it was huge. It's like, a, it was, the glass was like, it was like a tanker. It was like big enough to f hold a whole bottle of wine. And she was going through it pretty quick, so. Well, Anyways, and also when we were checking Good people in, she watching. was like, how do you pronounce your name to me? And I was like, Minta. And she's like, oh, in Hungary it means something. Because she was from hung Hungary. Yeah. And I was like, well, what does it mean? And she's like, it means something. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Leave us hanging. And I was like, oh, does it mean something bad, bad and or like, offensive? No. Oh, no, no. no it just, it means, just means something. something. And we're like, oh, okay. okay. So <laughs> men's name in Hungarian means something. So maybe that's and, what she meant okay, literally. Maybe that maybe that's how you say something in Minta? Hungarian. Okay. Minta. But then it was also this is also why it was bad because she told us that we couldn't do our laundry because she was doing stuff and she had to start it early because she had to make dinner. Okay, well at <laughs> dinner she tells everybody, Oh, I didn't cook this. I got, like another lady cooks it and brings it in. So she didn't cook dinner and she just didn't want us to do our laundry so she could like it's fine, but it's like but then she came down later, actually, and, like, said, hey, if you're ready, I can do some laundry for you guys. And I was like, oh, well, we weren't. We, we hadn't showered yet, so we still 
I, sh I don't know. It was weird. She was just weird. She was so and the weird. bathroom was like, she as was soon as you turn on the shower, the water squirts out onto the bathroom, like completely out of the shower and the bathroom even go floor. Does the shower? Yeah. It's just out it on was... the bathroom floor. Like, they, there's a couple times that that happens in Alvarez too. I've been shocked. Like, I'm like, build bathrooms where this faucet hits the floor of the shower, and then, not out and my, the shower. The other funny part is I, so I went to wash some clothes by hand just so I had, like, would have clean underwear. Um, and because this guy only brings and this, two pairs of underwear, and this guy had washed all his stuff in the wash basin and then like hung it out to dry on the wash basin so like no one else could use it, you know. And she had told them like not to do that and not to leave wet clothes down there, and they did it. She told everybody not to eat down there, and they had all this food down there, like <laughs> it's just hilarious. But um, also, they pretended to be asleep, so then we would turn off the light, and then they brought put took out their phones again. Yeah, that's all right. We 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 we. But we're talking to Olive, and it just yeah. I'd be beefing with those people because they do that, and then she coughs all night and doesn't even try to get a drink of water and like fix her throat. Like yeah. literally, I was like, drink some freaking water. Oh, it was just. I was so mad because I was really tired. We had twenty four miles. Does anybody in the audience have? A small violin that you can play men a song on. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so that was Camino Day 17. Um, and honestly, it wasn't the best um, albergue, but it's funny after being out here so long, it's more entertaining than annoying. Maybe a little more annoying for men, obviously, but it's well, kind of entertaining. Well, was like the closest I got to like telling somebody something. In the... but to... I would probably never because I'm just not the kind of person, but like she kept... I was right next to the bathroom door and she kept going by and I was like, almost like, hey, do you need some water? Because, what the age? Just what some the water. Hades. Anyways, tonight we're in a much nicer Albert case, yeah, so we're excited and later on we'll do today's recap from Camino Day 18, but for now we're going to sign off. But we didn't get a mint on our pillow. That's the only thing. I wouldn't touch that mint. You couldn't no. pay me to eat that mint. <laughs> that was, last night even though it was the worst over here, we had the, there was a mint on our pillow and I was like. Turn down pillow service? I turned it down. Mm -mm. Anyways, so that was day 17. I don't know what that lady was putting in those mints. I don't want, I don't want to be what she's on. All right. <laughs> for reals this time, day 17, so long. See you tomorrow for day 18.